Okay, executable code or mobile code. Um, now, uh, once again, as I have mentioned before, anytime that you are running someone else's program on your machine, uh, you have the possibility, and indeed in some cases the probability, that you have a security problem, security issue involved with uh, with this. Um, it's just you you don't know what the code is, and that extends, as as mentioned, to uh, say an application programming interface. Um, if you don't know what the code is, uh, then you don't know what you're running. If if you do know what the code is, why don't you just put that code in your uh, your system, your program, whatever. Um, however, uh, there, there sometimes there are reasons, yes. But, um, anyways, executable code, uh, mobile code, uh, of various types. And, um, of course, you've got, um, uh, a lot of stuff with the, the World Wide Web these days, um, that the, uh, um, uh, websites are uh, executing programming uh, applications, uh, little applets, um, uh, and JavaScript all over the place, uh, and even things like Flash. I mean, you know, uh, <laughs> Flash is uh, uh, sort of what is causing global warming, Flash. Uh, really, really interesting uh, to look at, at certain sites. And for some reason, um, news sites have uh, been one of the most egregious uh, offenders in, in this regard. That They've got a ton of Flash programming on their site. Of course, they are, um, you know, it's expensive uh, collecting news, uh, paying reporters, maintaining uh, a news uh, reporting and collection staff and the the infrastructure to support that. And so, yes, to, you know, uh, news organizations, uh, print news organizations are having problems. So any kind of uh, news organization that has a web presence and is providing you with the news for free, uh, anything that's free, uh, if you are not paying for it, you are the product. Uh, they are selling you, they are selling either your information or your attention to somebody else. So, um, if then they are doing that, uh, then they're going to be running a lot of advertising, and the advertisers want something as flashy, as attention-grabbing, as is humanly possible. And so, yeah, things like uh, Flash will do that. And uh, processing demand, my gosh. Uh, the first time I came across this, I was running a, a Mac, and uh, uh, a Mac book. And their portable machines have uh, a lot of uh, battery control. There's, there's a lot of technology that goes into that, so they can tell you. Uh, fairly accurately how much charge is, is left on a battery under the current uh, uh, load of the machine. And in order, uh, well, in, in doing that, uh, I happen to be visiting a, uh, a news website, and all of a sudden my you know, remaining battery life was cut in half because the uh, flash applets in the advertising um, involved in all the ads uh, that they were running on their on their web page uh, meant that it was just you know my poor little computer was just processing its little brains out so um, yeah it is interesting that's you know one one of the possible problems with uh, mobile code. Uh, stuff that is putting an excessive demand on on your machine but uh, there are a great many others um, so uh, you've got somebody else's program you don't know what it's running you don't know how it's running it you you don't know what kind of processing demand it's it's putting on your machine um, 
but uh, you've got uh, other problems as well. Um, you you have, of course, uh, malicious code that may be added to a web page. Um, you know, trying to do uh, drive-by downloads on on your machine in a variety of different ways. Um, you have. Uh, well, the, the tracking cookies. Uh, initially, cookies were just, you know, a piece of data. Um, well, as uh, different companies, uh, particularly, again, the advertisers, um, are trying to uh, get more information on what uh, what is attracting people, what do people click through on, uh, where are the, the sites, where are referring sites, you know, all this type of stuff that gets them to the point of being able to present uh, more and more control over, you know, presenting an ad to you. They uh, have uh, more and more different ways of tracking what you do. And it's no longer just pieces of data, but in some cases now it's, you know, they are actually running programs and sometimes installing programs on your computer so that uh, you know, if, if you're cleaning up data, if you're, you know, shutting off uh, the browser, cleaning up the history of the browser, they still have something that is able to, to track where you go, how you go, which routes you take, uh, what referring sites you go to, those types of things to try and, uh, and get more efficiency in terms of their, their ad uh, purchases online. Um, so, you know, that's, well... That's a fairly innocuous uh, type of uh, installation of software on your machine. There are, of course, the same technologies that can be used for much more nefarious purposes. So, uh, you know, as I say, any kind of executable code, anytime you are running code from someone else on your computer, you have this possibility of... Uh, having a security problem on there. And uh, we've got another uh, specific case uh, in terms of uh, executable code, uh, which we'll look at in the next clip.